And joining us now here in our studio is Dr. Emily Block, a professor in the Mendoza College of Business and the program director of Business on the Front Lines. Thanks for stopping by, Emily. Thanks for having me. Now, we just chatted a little <laughs> bit. I think people are going to be surprised what Business on the Front Lines actually is. Tell us about the program. You know, we started this program uh, six years ago as a partnership between the Mendoza College of Business and Catholic Relief Services. And since then, we have had 21 groups of students working in 18 different countries, really looking at ways to explore the role of business in rebuilding post-war economies, doing projects with Catholic Relief Services, who's our partner on the ground. What inspired the creation of this program? You know, it was the brainchild of Professor Viva Barkas, who is a professor in the management department, as well as on the CRS board, and Dr. Carolyn Wu, um, looking for ways that business could contribute to leveraging and uh, building uh, markets and opportunities for uh, young men and women to build livelihoods for themselves as they recover from war. Now, how do you determine which countries you visit? You know, it, that we have an internal vetting process with Catholic Relief Services. Um, we try to make sure that the countries are um, stable enough so that our students will be safe. We trust our security to CRS. Um, we also want to make sure that the projects are within our wheelhouse, things that we can do very well, you know, um, value chain analyses or uh, agricultural projects that we can really contribute and make a difference so that the projects can live on. So what are some of your future destinations? You know, we're still deciding. Um, uh, next year we are hoping to perhaps, perhaps be in East Timor, Timor-Leste or mm -hmm. Myanmar. Uh, we've been invited to go back to Cambodia and to Rwanda. so. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get some projects there. Now, some might say that these can be scary places. You know, I think statistically you're probably in as much danger driving to the grocery store. Uh, but also, I think that if you have good local partners on the ground, which we do in Catholic Relief Services, second largest international aid organization in the world, um, they know the people and they know where we should be and who should we should talk to. and. Uh, you know, we, we just keep our wits about us. Now, what are some of the ways when the students are there and on the ground, what do they specifically do to make an impact? Well, the projects are really co-produced between Catholic Relief Services staff and our students themselves. And our students are really good at gathering information, at doing, at tracing the market value of a product or a crop, for example, across an entire value chain, or look for opportunities for export, or perhaps some opportunities for corporations and NGOs to find mutual value creation and work together. What are some of the obstacles you've had to overcome? It is... Uh, you know, it's really difficult problem solving in uncertain environments. Our students are asked to be incredibly adaptive and responsive to the changing circumstances. We've had to change countries at the last minute, you know. We were going to Lebanon one year and, and we ended up in Uganda. We were in Uganda and then the LRA and then we, oops, ended up in Kenya, you know, just, they're asked to roll with it. And, and I think it really creates some good opportunities for our students to engage in real world uncertainty, problem solving on the ground. Tell me, you've been here now for six years here mm -hmm. at the University of Notre Dame. Is there a story from this program that really stands out in your mind? Oh gosh, you know, there are so many great stories. Uh, I, what was most interesting, one of the greatest stories that I have is, uh, the work that we did in Cambodia this year, we were working on a childhood nutrition program and just we got to share meals and live in a village and, and cook with a family and really understand some of the livelihood challenges around nutrition and just seeing the ability and the human dignity associated with a good day's work and how that has the ability to transform people's lives. Um, it's really just a collection of individual stories when you look in someone's face and you get to see the joy that they have when they get to have the opportunity to really build their livelihoods for their children. And, yeah. that, and that's just the best feeling. I appreciate you coming by. This is another example. I did three hours last night. I've been watching throughout the day. People know Notre Dame for its sports teams. Mm -hmm. They know it's a great academic university. Mm -hmm. But Notre Dame Day is really starting to show people what Notre Dame does mm -hmm. with students, even mm -hmm. before they graduate, in terms of making an impact, not just in this country or around this campus, but all around the world. Absolutely. And we have the best students. Uh, we have Mendoza students, Croc Peace Study students, Globe students, law school students, and we get the cream of the crop here at Notre Dame in the MBA program and we're really excited to give them opportunities to do 
meaningful and, and, and work that challenges them. Uh, Emily, thank you for coming by. Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks for what you do. That was a pleasure. When we come back, I will be talking.